Hello, George Romanic here. Today we are going to demonstrate the existence of the Coriolis force using this merry-go-around. Before we start with anything, I would like to explain one more time the difference between inertial and, iner and non-inertial reference frames. Inertial reference frame is the frame that is not moving or moving at constant velocity. You, the viewer or camera, is inertial reference frame and Nicolina, my partner here, and I are, non, are also inertial reference frames. However, if we start rotating, now we are non-inertial reference frame because we have rotation. And we know once we are in non-inertial reference frames, there are three forces, apparent forces, that Nicolina and I feel. That's centrifugal force that wants to push us out, Euler force, related to starting this rotation and stopping rotation and the one that we are interested in today, the Coriolis force. Coriolis force happens when you have motion in respect to rotating or namely non-inertial reference frame. We know that Coriolis force depends on the rotation rate as well as the velocity in respect to that rota uh, rotating frame of reference. Now, Nicolina and I will spin. First of all, if Nicolina throws me the ball in my chest, but she looked to my group. You see, there is no problem. I can catch the ball and I throw ball in her chest, towards her chest, there is no problem. But once we start spinning and the spin will be in counterclockwise direction, looking from above, when she throws the ball to my chest, from our perspective, the ball will deviate and deviation will be towards the right from the uh, perspective of the trajectory of the ball. So now we will rotate and you can see how the ball seems to have curvature. Now, we said if the rotation is higher, the Coriolis effect is even higher. So if we rotate faster, this apparent deviation of the ball is even more pronounced. So let's rotate a little bit faster. This is a little bit scary. You see, the ball was going towards her chest. When I was stopping, this is Euler's force. Here we go again. We have the ball. I throw it, she catches it. There is no problem. I throw it again towards her chest, but now we will spin rather fast. And you see, you see, it looks like the ball is going towards, it looks like the ball is deviating. Now, to demonstrate this even further, we said in, uh, in my previous videos, if the velocity is small, deviation is larger. So if I throw ball fast, deviation is not that pronounced. So let's look at that. But look, look. But if I go slow, you see, because the ball is moving slow, and that means there is more time for deviation to occur. And deviation is always to the right because we are rotating in the counterclockwise direction. If we rotate in the opposite direction, deviation would be towards the left. This explains why in the northern hemisphere, Coriolis force deviates motion to the right because northern hemisphere rotates in the counterclockwise direction and the sense of rotation over the southern hemisphere is in the clockwise direction, hence, uh, deviation towards the left. Because this is a lot of fun, we'll do it a few more times. You see, the slower you throw the ball, the bigger the deviation. You see? If we go even faster, <laughs> there is no way, there is no way. So, this simple merry-go-around is 
perfect apparatus to demonstrate the existence of the Coriolis force. One more thing, how do we explain the existence of the Coriolis force from the inertial perspective, which is you, the viewer? Well, it's quite simple. When you look at this, when you look at this uh, motion of the ball, ball is actually going in the straight direction, along the straight path. And there is no force acting on the ball looking from from the camera's point of view. However, from the point of two of us that are rotating, there is a mysterious force deviating the ball towards the right. Nothing is deviating the ball towards the right. It is two of us that are rotating. Now you might say, but okay, you know you are rotating. Well, Knowing or not knowing that somebody is rotating doesn't change the physics. Right now, when you are watching this video and three of us are rotating because Earth is rotating. The fact that we don't feel that rotation doesn't mean we are not rotating. So the same way the rotation of this merry-go-around affects the motion of this ball, the parcel of air or this ball moving uh, in respect to the rotating surface is affected by the Coriolis force. And this is absolutely amazing. And we will do one more crazy speed, ludicrous speed. <laughs> Very nice. We can go even without the ball. <laughs> this is a little bit scary. And now slow down is the Euler force but Euler force will be addressed in one of the future videos.